Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Paper Mario, the Origami King. In the last episode, we made our way to the Princess Peach because we need to save Olivia who's under a giant boulder, which is a weird sense if you don't know what's been happening in the last couple of episodes, which is why you should go see them. Anyways, let's talk to the captain again, shall we ship out? Yes. So we could also apparently look around the ocean for some of the missing passengers that were leaving through lifeboats, but I don't know if I'm gonna worry about that too much in today's episode, uh, but it's good to know, you know, that's an option. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna return to town for right now. That's sort of what I'm mostly focused on because I wanna go and save Olivia with whatever we got. It was like in a weird red box, so we just don't really know. I mean, obviously bob -omb knows, but it, to us, it's a mystery. So <laughs> let's go and find out, shall we? So I guess we have to go all the way back over to um, the museum and warp over there real quick. So here we are back at Sweet Paper Valley. Of course, we've actually gotten everything done here in terms of all the possible collectibles, which wasn't very much, but yeah, we've gotten that done. So here we are at the rock again. What are we supposed to do here, bob -omb? Almost there, hang on, Olivia. We'll free you from that boulder soon. Yep, here we are. Oh my gosh, Big M. Thanks for believing me and taking me to the great sea. Sorry I was so hush-hush about what happened on that boat and about the item in that lockbox. I'll tell you everything. Oh wow, okay, everything? A while back, I was traveling aboard the Princess Peach with my buds, my bob my friends. We had all pitched in to share the VIP stateroom. Sure, some of us had to sleep on the floor, but the open sea, the salty breeze, it was the best trip ever. That's cool. But then the blooper attacked. But then that monstrous blooper attacked the ship. We did our best to defend the, pe the peach, but it was too strong. That's when it happened. What happened? My fuse got knocked loose. It fell right off the boat, and so did I. Next thing I know, I'm in the Great Sea. Not sure what happened next, but I washed up to Toad Town. No fuse, no memories, no clue. So he can't even explode if he wants to. So off I went, lost and alone, on a journey to try and remember, well, anything. That's where you and Olivia came in. And then, those fireworks that we saw together at Shogun Studios. They made me remember. The fight with the blooper, my fuse, my buds, boom! Everything came back to me. I'm so glad my memories are back. I remember everything now, including a way to rescue Olivia. See, I had a lot of buds, but I lost my bestest best bud a long time ago. He got scrapped in an accident. Aw, his name was also bob <laughs> Olivia would have had such a hard time telling us apart. I always kept his fuse with me to remember him by, until the amnesia hit. So it just sat where I left it, in that VIP stateroom on the ship. Wait, so you're going to use his fuse? Oh no, Big M! If I can save a friend like this, it means I've finally become the sort of bob -omb I always wanted to be. This is what every bob -omb hopes for, a chance to change something for the better, to make an impact. Big M, I, I had so much fun traveling with you and Olivia. It's been a blast. <laughs> Sorry, I'm kind of nervous. Thanks for the fuse, best bud. And thank you, Mario, for everything. No way, I'm gonna cry, don't go! Bob, I'm no! <laughs> no! Oh my gosh. And that rock just blows in the smithereens. It really worked, but no. That was not a trade worth making. We could have saved Olivia some other way, I'm sure. Mm. Are you okay? Oh no, where's bob -omb? Or do I have to flatten her? There she goes. W what happened? Did you save me, Mario? Thank you so much. Getting flattened hurt a lot, but now I'm back to my folded fancy free south. Wow, the whole rock is just gone. Blasted a confetti. How did that happen anyway? Did you get some kind of dynamite hammer or something? Just kapow or what? Wait, huh? Mario's so sad, no! Where's Bobby? Is he around? Don't tell me he missed all this. Uh, Mario? Wait, 
Did he? There was a loud bang, and now the rock is gone. No. No! It can't be! No way, come back! I can't lose you two! We've lost too much! This is so sad! Alright, let's chase after her. I'm sure she's really upset now. Where are we now? Breezy Tunnel. Oh, hey. Monty Mole. Whoa, hey there. Those Monty Moles don't get many guests down here in a little tunnel. Ah, uh, we could do a better job advertising. Funny, though. You're not the first today. A giant bee with tears running down his face just buzzed past. That was not a bee. Um, where did they go? So here we are in Breezy Tunnel. Um, no not bottomless holes to repair, probably because the whole thing is technically a hole. You're looking for what I assume is a giant bee with tears running down his face? It went that way. What's that? You didn't point anywhere. This way? Uh, all right then. This area looks really fancy. Hey guys. Bowser says dig for shiny stuff. We dig, you dig? All right. Where's Bowser anyway? It ain't like the big guy to disappear for so long. He's all folded up somewhere. I totally forgot about that. Whoa, that actually worked. Got me some coins. And what's this? This is a room. Hey, how are you? What do you want from me? I'm on my break. I guess not anything. Can I talk to you any more than that? Nope. Huh. So the Monty Moles are very relaxed kind of uh uh, I guess enemy. Yeah, I mean they are enemies in the game, but it's weird because it's like they're pretty neutral. Like sometimes they work for Bowser and sometimes they just sort of do their own thing. What's going on with you? Oh man, that was that was tough to pull you out. What's the big idea? I'm digging here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what's going this way then? Whoa, they have lots of coins laying around. Feel bad sort of taking them like this, but hey, okay. I mean, if they're here, I'm gonna try it. So what's going on up this way? See a couple more spots we can hit, like that. And I guess, oh, we can knock this over, fancy. Whoa, would you look at that? And that'll get us a collectible treasure up here. That was a weird coin. <laughs> Just couldn't pick it up. Ooh, oh, and this is the important box, which now makes me really sad. <laughs> is Bob -Bob really gone forever? I sure hope he comes back. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's 100 coins again. I thought maybe it was a toad. I guess not. He can't be gone for good. I mean, in other Paper Mario games, in other Mario games, bombs will blow up and they'll still be around. I mean, that's how we had with uh, Bombette in the original Paper Mario. We dig hard and we play hard, but this, this is just mandatory team yoga. <laughs> I mean, it's good to stay fit. You watch, I'm gonna touch my toes one of these years. You're getting close. Hey. You from above ground? My big bro couldn't shovel it anymore down here, so he moved up there. Last I heard, he was selling trinkets on the roadside. You see him? You tell him he stinks, and I love him. <laughs> Aw. All right, then. So I guess he sells trinkets, I'm guessing like accessories. Oh, you know what, did we run into him? Wasn't that on Overlook Mountain? Oh, hey. You did it, you found the cave of breakdancing. Just kidding, it's a bathroom, and I'm dancing for non-bathroom related reasons. Uh, uh, all right. Sorry to intrude on your privacy. Did you make that bee girl cry? We moles don't take kindly to bee bullies. No, no, no. Quite the opposite. I'm trying to find out why she's crying. Or well, I know she's why she's crying. I want to find a way to help her stop. Oh, hey. I crawled into that rock to take a nap. That was three years ago. Thanks for the wake up, pal. Here's a little something for the effort. Quite the nap. Well, thank you for the coins. And there's a couple more ways to go. What was over this way, though? Uh, another room, of course. It's very weirdly like ominous and relaxing. Ooh, here we go. Fun, funky, and functional. We got the best accessories in this whole entire uh, hole. So you have treasure alert. Makes a sound when a chest or collectible treasure is nearby. Treasure alert, that'll be 8,000 coins. Sound good to you? Yep. So I don't think I can equip this at the same time I'm equipping the toad one. So I might hold on to this for now. Well, looks like we're all sold out. Check back later, okay? Make sure you equip those accessories in the plus menu. But we'll find out. So like, yeah, right over here. I can't, unfortunately. Well, that's fine. We'll keep the toad one because that one's sort of a lot more oftenly used. Interested in some shinies? We dug up some real boots. 
So I don't think I actually need too many. Like maybe one more shiny hammer just to balance things out. Um, but beyond that, I need to actually save my coins now that we spent so many there. Um, but I will definitely be using that in any area where I might be looking for a collectible treasure, like back in P the, P the Prince's Peach ship. Um, there was still one treasure we're missing, but I don't, I'll sort of save all that effort for later on. Because it does seem like there's a lot of backtracking. Oh no! You okay? Hmm. Take all the time you need, it's okay. Bobby sacrificed himself for me. Now he's gone. How, how could he do that? I, I don't know how I can go on. Well, that was nice of Mario to sit with her for a bit, but I don't know if there's, he's just gone. I'm too sad to move. No, I didn't mean to do that, but I guess we can just keep sitting and talking with her. Okay, she's just gonna keep saying the same thing. Well, you know what? Everybody needs time to, you know, grieve and digest when something like this happens. Oh, everybody's gone. Uh, that's ominous. Where did they go? Maybe it's a lunch break. <laughs> that one guy took a three year nap. All right, well, let's get up here. Oh wait, there's a tr Ah, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this done. And that's gonna be collectible treasure number 57, the huge rock. Why do they keep on trying to remind me of what bob -omb went through? There's all the collectible treasures found in the in the tunnel though. Well, this is, what was the other area? Yeah, the breezy tunnel, okay. I didn't know if like this room with all the multi -mall specifically was a different area. Boom, and we got breezy tunnel, all the question blocks hit. Oh, and here's another one. Nice. What's going on though? This is peculiar, oh, oh hey. Jackpot baby, some kind of huge rock exploded outside. We just gathered up all the pieces to see if we could find something shiny for Bowser. I don't know what could blow up a rock that big and I don't care. This this could get us out of digging for weeks if we play our cards right, gotta waddle. <laughs> but that's the rock that bob -omb exploded. Huh. So this is all of it. Wait, Big M? What? What? Is it his spirit? <laughs> oh my gosh! Listen, Olivia's having a hard time with this whole thing. If she doesn't pull through, it's like everything I did was in vain. But you're Big M, Big M. If anyone can cheer her up, it's you. Just think, what could you do to put a smile on her face? They say that laughter is the best medicine, right? So maybe you can make her laugh. Well, I think I know just the thing. Gosh, I'm flattered that you're coming to me for more advice, Big M. But you already know what to do. You got what you need. Go find Olivia and put a smile on her face. So, we know something that cracks her up every time. It's a big Goomba outfit. If anyone asks, I broke that giant rock up, okay? It was me. Um, I do want to talk to everybody, though, if I can. If they have anything new to say. I was just says dig for shiny. Okay, so not really. Everybody else is gonna say the same thing. All right then, so let's get back up there and I guess talk to Olivia again. You know, we can't bring Bob on back, but we can at least help her in some way. As Bob on said, he wanted her to keep living. That's why she, he saved her. All right. So let's go ahead and use the Goomba mask. Hey, Olivia, remember this? Oh. She doesn't look very happy. Ta-da. Oh, that's not fair, Mario. Stop trying to force me to laugh with that. Oh, oh, it's working. I mean, it is quite ridiculous. <laughs> oh, oh, I needed that. Thank you, Mario. I can't just sit around wallowing in misery. Bobby wouldn't have wanted that. Let's, let's keep going. We have to stop my brother no matter what. Thanks again, Mario. And thanks in advance for all your future heroics too. All right, let's see if we can find that yellow streamer. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, first you have to remove that ridiculous thing from your head. I cannot take you seriously. Well, there we go. We're back together again. 
I think we're ready to go after the yellow streamer, Mario. I think so too. I'm glad that we figured that out and I'm glad that she's feeling better. Let's move forward with our adventure. So I don't think there's anything more we can really do in this room. I explored it pretty thoroughly, so we're just gonna keep moving forward and see if maybe bob -omb's spirit is still in all that rubble. It's not. All right, then. Uh, all right, I feel like we're back on track now. Let's get back through that tunnel and get to the streamer. Sometimes a good cry is all you need, right? Yes, there's nothing wrong with crying. Huh? Do you feel that? The folds on the back of my neck just stood up. I'm getting a strong Bobby-like feeling. Uh, it's probably just my imagination, right? We only have our memories, but that will be enough. We're doing this for you, Bobby. And seeing how he's part of your memories, he's gonna be part with you, part of you, I guess, wherever you go. So, you know, that's the most important part, is just to hold on to those. And what else is going on down this way? I guess not too much more, because we found everything, but apparently there were some toads to rescue. Oh, here we go. So let's pull this uh, door open a little bit, not that. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, Cause there's a little perforated edge here. Ooh, perfect. And let's keep going. But yeah, I did not see any toads there whatsoever, but there, oh, here's one. Oh, these little boot mine carts, weird. I got you, buddy. Oh, he's like a little mine worker. <laughs> Ooh, thanks, buddy. Got myself in a real pickle there. I'm sure glad you came along. And you will be glad you came along when you see the kind of value we're offering here today at Toad's Automa Boots. Boot Car Type B. Output 150 Yoshi's top speed golden mushroom. Feast your eyes on the Boot Car Type B racer. It's, it eats up desert terrain like a tourist at a buffet. Desert terrain? And when you hit that turbo button, hoo wee, better hold on to your mustache, cowboy. Now, the least I can do is offer you a no coin sound test ride. By accepting the whist this whistle, you've agreed to the terms and conditions of our not a lease lease. <laughs> All right, we got a boot whistle. Summons your trusty boot car type B when you're in the desert. Just blow the whistle and the car will come tearing out of nowhere to take you where you wanna go. Just stick to the desert, okay? Those tires aren't rated for other types of terrain. No need to re read or understand the details of our non lease lease. If the shoe fits, drive it, hop on in. Well, that's not financially responsible, but it sure sounds fun. Just going over and press A to hop in. I wanna try riding in the boot car. I think we just leased it, so we might as well try it out. <laughs> All right, well, a lease is a lease. Looking good. Now, I'm sure you know how to handle a fine vehicle like this, but let me just give you some pointers. Use out a steer, and if you wanna blow the hair on your mustache back, hold down ZR to hit the turbo. Keep that button mashed and you'll be moving fast enough to break stuff and take out folded soldiers. Just uh, mind the paint job, okay? All right, let's go. But first off, I do wanna see, that was half of the toad save, so there's still another one. Let's go. Oh, we're moving. See ya. <laughs> okay, we do have to be careful though. We can turn like on a dime. Wow. Oh, here's a toad. Saved ya, <laughs> you were in the shape of a shovel. What was I folding into? A scoop or a shovel? It matters to me. Well, and that's what matters. Okay, so uh, I feel like a shovel more than a scoop, but let's keep going. So I think that's actually the breezy tunnel totally completed. So what's going on next? Whoa, what is this place? Wait, so this is the desert? It's so dark and cold. Where's the scorch? I thought the sun would be beating down on us. It must be nighttime. Because a lot of people don't know that, but deserts get very cold in the middle of the night. Uh, but what's going on around here? Always, I don't know of all deserts, but a lot of them. Scorching sandpaper desert. Wow. So yeah, we'll, we'll take a look, look around here a little bit. Oh my, what a view. Scorching sandpaper desert. Just keeps going and going. It is really big, wow. I guess it must be the desert after all, since I, it's just a wide open space filled with sand. This darkness though. Wait, where's the sun? Do you think it's hiding away because it's angry about something? I thought it was just nighttime, but oh my gosh. It's an eclipse, huh? That can't be good. No wonder it's so dark out here. But wait, it's not just dark. It's actually like there's a black hole in the sky. 
What a strange place, a desert with a black hole in the sky where the sun should be. But how could that even happen? How could someone get all the way up there and open up a hole? Well, at least it's not scorching hot out here right now. Should we try not to worry about the black hole for now and head for the streamer instead? I guess so. Maybe we'll find our answer along the way, but how interesting. Oh, do da dee da. And there's apparently a toad around here? Oh, there is, in the sand right here. Uh, Visit the sem sensor lab on Picnic Road to try their latest gizmo. The lamination suit. Huh, so we'll definitely have to do that at some point. But for right now, Ah, thank you, and welcome to the Scorching Sandpaper Desert, where it's always scorching hot. Except right now, I guess. Come on, desert, scorch! You're making me look bad! Well, ah, thank you. And okay, well, he's just gonna say the same thing again. Uh, let's hop back in. Yeah, the lamination suit sounds interesting. But right now, if we're occupied here, then so be it. I'm sure that's gonna take a lot of time just sort of looking around. Ooh. And there's some stuff around here. There's a dry bones. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I could not get you in time. Oh boy. Whoa. So what are we doing here? I'm guessing we'll have three moves. Yep, so that we can move that guy back. And Olivia should give us a hint, right? Uh, those bony guys are so creepy. What if we beat one, but it comes right back to, uh, on the next turn? Ah, it sounds like a horror movie. So I guess we might have to beat them all in one turn to get fully get rid of them. So let's use our shiny boots just to get started because I don't know how much health they're gonna have. All right, ready? Let's hope that's enough and it's not. Well, maybe, they're all falling to pieces. And the battle bonus, so yeah, if we destroy all of them, we only get 120 coins, that's next to nothing. In this game, at the least. Uh, There we go. Awesome. But they are gonna come back, so we gotta be careful. This is like a whole little labyrinth around here. There's so much going on. Okay, filling this up. Oh, we filled two not bottomless holes so far, and that's only 17%. So it shows you there's, oh wow, there's booze as well. There's so many new enemies. There's a lot to do around here. What is this about? Um. Yeah, I was wondering about those spots too. They're cute, but I don't think hitting them does anything. Peculiar. All right, well, we'll have to figure that out at some point. But for right now, yeah, there's even little, uh, pokies. <laughs> Probably could've done a better job of taking them on, but hey, for right now, let's fight them. How do we wanna do this? It looks like I could maybe... Hmm. So that's not the best idea. No. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Much better. There we go. And I guess, Olivia, it's gonna be a little too late for a hint now, so let's go ahead and just use a hammer. I guess, well, do I have space to equip another shiny hammer? Yes, I do. That might be good for now. Um. So, shiny hammer on the pokies, here we go. Ooh, that was a great, 26 damage is enough to knock them down to their final little um, heads, I guess. Let's try to do it a little bit better this time. <laughs> that was excellent, getting us 28 damage instead, and enough, enough to knock them out all the way. Oh my, uh, that hurt. Okay, we can handle it this time. Line them up and finish them off. Just like that. Okay, so we're just gonna use our normal hammer. Should definitely be enough to get rid of them as they are. But yeah, it's cool to see some new enemies. And there was a booze around there, like I said before. We'll try to take them on soon. And we got 500 coins. Okay, grab all of that, and then let's hop out for now. Boom, Oh, we get some shiny iron boots. Actually, no, these are flashy boots. Stronger than shiny boots, but can't stop stomp spiked enemies. Which is definitely where the iron boots are helpful for those pokies we just took on. There are some extra coins. And, might as well look around here. I do see a, a toad that needs our help for sure. Gotcha. Cause that's our second toad, and I think before we had 10%, so I guess there's only 10 toads around here. Thank you, and don't worry, I'm not poisonous, I'm venomous. <laughs> that's just as bad. Anyways, we get ourselves a shiny fire flower, throws stronger fireballs at enemies in a straight line. Cool. <laughs> the boos actually look a little creepy with their mouths all agape like that. 
There we go, let's just take him on. I wanna be able to take on every enemy at least once. Okay, so what's going on with these guys? First off, we'll have Olivia say something. Oh, and they're gone. Uh, they can vanish? What a pain. Good thing you memorized which panels they were on, right, Mario? <laughs> um, well, I think they were either there. No, I messed it up, darn. Um, well, that stinks. Uh, what is his shiny boots for right now? Oh, they get all embarrassed when you look at them. Cool. And that was damaged, but not enough damage to take them down. Okay, I really gotta pay attention this time then. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, I know exactly where they are. That should be good. Yep. Awesome. But yeah, they disappear, so they're very important to focus on. That adds a whole different element to it that's definitely going to be tough to keep up with. Oh, but that wasn't enough to take him down. Oh, no. Enemy's turn. Here they come. Ouch. Really getting beat up with this one. Okay. So now they're right there. Now we can just jump on them and finish them off properly. Jeez, so the boos are probably the toughest out of this whole new group of enemies. Dry bones, pokies, and now the boos. I like the music here too. It's pretty cool. So how do I get down that way? Because that looks like it might lead to something. There are more enemies around as well, but it looks like maybe I could just, yep, just do that, get back in. And then at the least fill up this hole. I don't know if this is something, I feel like it may be going a little too soon with everything. But at the same time, oh wow, he went right through that wall. Go, 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 go. And what's this way then? It's just like its own little section. Oh, I do see one of the uh, teleportation areas out. That'd be good to figure out. Wow, this is new as well. This is the ice flower. Use this to throw ice balls at enemies in a straight line. So now we got a fire flower, ice flower, and a shiny fire flower. Is there a toad? Or, oh, there's a toad in the cactus over there. Ah, he was in the box. I, I honestly wasn't expecting that. All right, oh man. Whole set up here, but as long as they don't move, this is actually quite simple. Line them up. So, all we gotta do is that. And we got that perfect lineup. Let's use the shiny hammer again. This time it'll do some extra damage, so hopefully enough to take them out in one turn. Got the excellent hit, 28 damage is enough to take him down. That's all I'm asking for. Okay, here we go again. Oh no, but that was still enough. So they have at most 26 HP and that was 640 coins. Okay, it's something. So, let's get over here and boop. Oh, we gotta knock you loose from this cactus. That must not be comfortable. Poor guy. There we go. Thank you, I was starting to think I'd rather have just been folded up. Uh, let's go over this way and fill this up. And, oh, actually this is a cafe. Interesting, I thought this was gonna be another one of the um, ones with the toad fax machine thing. Whoa, you got a big hammer brow. And a Goomba, a tiny little Goomba. Hey. What you want? Mega tasty coffee. Thank you. <laughs> hey, barista, hit me with another. Whoa. Hmm, is this gonna be enough? Oh, for everybody. <laughs> That's sort of cute. Hey, hey, don't log at all you teeny weenies. Leave some for me. Ah, much better. Back up the full. Well, that was fascinating. Hey, barista, got any bigger cups back there? Can I talk to him at all? What you want. So I could, I just can just get another one. Don't think anything else is gonna happen, but we might as well check. Nope, it's just gonna heal me again. Ha, <laughs> all right. Well, you guys have fun with that. I love those sections. So far, that's, that's only the second one, but both of them have been really funny. So, with that done, I guess we're good just to hop back into our boot and get to driving. Well, that was certainly fascinating. Glad that we went out, out of our way to do that. I'm definitely just gonna focus on exploring this desert in today's episode. 
and, you know, hopefully we get some good stuff done. Oh, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I made it clear there. But there's a couple of these shiny spots that I'm just not really sure what's going on with them. I think there was another one over this way. Yeah, right over here. So, we know of at least three of them. And what's with all these statues? This desert is huge and probably filled with cool stuff. I hope we can see some of it while we're, while we look for the streamer. Looks like we are. Weird. So we got these weird little chicken statues, I think they are. I do see a toad in the sand over there. Um, I also see, oh, <laughs> that. That was pretty good. And let's save this toad real quick. Hey, buddy. I gotcha. Thank you. As a show of gratitude, I'll point you to that significant looking Autar just over there. All right, thanks. Um, also, you know, we're already 40% of the toads rescued. This area is actually getting done quite quickly just by how big it is, so that's cool. And let's keep moving. Huh. Hmm, what's this, some kind of platform? Is that a picture of the sun? I, I guess. Ah, yes, let me see here. It reads, Sorry, I guess I can't actually read it after all. I'm sure, I sure wish I could though. Huh. And we can save. So I don't think there's much I can do here at the moment, but there is a weird little pot. Is this gold? Whoa, this is the biggest bowl of oatmeal I've ever seen. Somebody out there really loves their breakfast. Oh wait, this is sand. So what does this thing, what is this thing for anyway? Should we try putting something in there? I don't think I have anything that I would want. I could try. I'm not sure that'll do anything. Any other ideas? Not for right now, but we'll keep looking around and maybe we'll figure something out. For right now though, let's keep boosting. Try to look around this area a bit more. There's more of these shiny spots that I can't do anything with. Ooh, here we go. Here's a nice little uh, teleportation pipe. Always good to get these. So we can go back to Toad Town super easy now. Happy about that. Might not do that right now, might do that like next episode or something. Cause there's definitely a lot of stuff in Toad Town and stuff we need to get done. But what else is going on around here? I do see that big hole back that way, but I also wanna explore this segment as well. Cause like this is the entrance that we came in from before. Let's see what's going on to the left. Cause I'm pretty sure that big Toad Tower over there is what we're gonna be focusing on. Wow, yeah, let's just destroy all that. And I guess we'll fill this up. But hopefully we get an accessory at some point. I can only imagine, if we got an accessory for finding collectible treasures, I can only hope we can also find an accessory for finding question blocks. Oh, oh and look at that, we got ourselves another flashy hammer. And let's get out like this. Don't you dare get me. But I definitely might have to fight some enemies. Soon for more confetti, because we're starting to run out. And honestly, the pokies are quite easy. So you know what, we're gonna go for him. Oh, he hid. Oh, we can just knock him out that way, though. All right, you know what? Oh, gotcha. Good starting hit there. Awesome. So we knocked him down a peg. Now, what do we want to do about this one? Actually, it seems quite simple. I could just move this guy like that, and they're all doubled up. So let's get our shiny hammer out and make sure that we're hitting some good timed hits. Ready? Ooh. Excellent. So there's 28 damage to those guys. Over here, do the same thing. And that should be enough to take them all down. And indeed it is. All right, so as you can see, we get 725 coins. And more than that, we get a bunch of confetti. Not enough to fill us up, but at least enough for us to keep going. Uh, so we'll get back in. And I guess we'll just ride over this way. But this is a lot of fun. I was not expecting to be just riding around in the dunes of a dark desert. That's, that's what we're doing. First, can I save you? Are you just too high up there? Maybe if I fill this out. That'll do something for me. Oh, almost got a foot. No, not quite able to get over to him. Weird. I might just have to fall down like this. Oh, that worked, awesome. <laughs> I saved ya. Don't be annoyed with me. I was using my lizard brain. Uh, okay. 
I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but good to know. And let's get back up this way. So this is gonna be the, the toad area, I can only imagine, where we can fax ourselves to different parts. All right, well there's some extra coins, and let's see what's going on. Oh, he's stuck, let's save him. Gotcha. Gah, phew, thank you so much, Mario. I thought I'd be jammed in there forever. This is one of the Central Lab satellite offices located right here in the scorching sandpaper desert. What do you say, Mario? Want to fax travel to our main Central Lab location? Not for right now. But uh, yeah, I don't know if there's too much more we can do in this area. I wanna keep exploring it for now. But uh, hopefully soon, um, we can go back, get some extra stuff done. There's just there's so much to do in this game at all times. <laughs> All right, let's get in. And let's start riding around a bit more. Because we could go into this tower, but you can see that something's going off to the left. Hmm, what's this? It looks like there's a way inside. Should we try it out? Huh, whoa, look at this huge lanky guy. And at the top, it looks like someone we know, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it looks like a toad. Well, that certainly is interesting. And like I said, over this way, there's some stuff. Oh, there's a toad, speaking of which, right here. Got him. Hey, buddy. Do you ever take a close look at the top of the tower? Looks familiar, right? L like a weird looking face? On second thought, it actually looks kinda handsome. <laughs> I guess so. Hmm, so how many toads are left to save in this area, I wonder? Still three more. So what happens if we go this way? I'm curious. This must lead to a whole nother area then. Whoa. Indeed it does. Scorching Sandpaper Miner. So this is its own area. So if it's its own area, we'll leave it for some other time. Okay, this is still technically the desert part. And I don't think I missed anything else over this way. Ah. Well, I did miss this hole. But once again, I'm sort of out of confetti, so might want to find some enemies to take on real quick. Or maybe I could just ride through them and get some confetti that way. Did that work? I don't think so. Hmm. And I still don't know what we can do about this. Like, this has to be something, right? Oh, would you look at that? Interesting. What if we made them all face inward? Like that. Maybe that'll do something. <laughs> There's still a toad walking around back there. Yo, let's make them all face inward. And maybe something cool will happen. Okay, this is the last one we need to fix. Whoa, that's doing something! Oh boy. Oh no, our boot got knocked out of the way. What is this? A, a microphone? Is that a stand? It's it's calling to me. What is this? <laughs> Just looking at this thing, no. No, I couldn't, could I? Oh, I don't think I can help myself. It's like the passion is welling up inside of my body. Check, check, one, two, one, two. 11 benevolent elephants, lesser leather never weathered, wetter weather, better. All right, I'm warmed up. Any requests? Happy and sappy. Go with the flow. Oh, so these are the ones that, you know, we we, we uh, heard before. <laughs> yeah, this is what we, um, oh, I love how Mario dances too. This is what we sung um, in the second episode when we were at the Whispering Woods, when we saved Sappy. Is it different though? It looks like it. Maybe, I don't know. Cool. All right, I'm all warmed up. Any requests? And then there was go with the flow. So I guess maybe at some point, Oh, uh, it's a little bit faster too, I think. It doesn't sort of have the highlights, so you don't really know the pacing of it. <laughs> She's so cute though. I wish we could actually hear her sing. Um, but yeah, maybe we can come back once we have all the songs so we can make her sing all of them. But there's probably a specific song we need her to sing for something to happen. All right, I'm all warmed up. So those are all the requests I have for you for right now. So how do we get the boot back? I forgot. Not like that. Oh, the whistle, that's right. All right, well, here it comes. So that was super fascinating. So I guess I'll go into 
try to find, like I said, some extra fights because we really need to. But I also, I'll try to go into here. Is this gonna be its own area? Because once again, if it's its own area, I might wanna explore it in its own episode because I just don't know how long it'll take. Uh, but I'll still poke my head in real quick. Oh, are we just gonna climb to the top? Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of stairs for you, I mean. Thanks for carrying me so often. You think we're in this Lanky Tower's head yet? I guess so. And are we still in, we're still in the Sandpaper Desert, okay. I don't know if I have enough confetti for this. I do, nice. What does this say then? Probably more stuff we can't read. Ah, more of that strange writing. I don't suppose you want me to try reading it again. There sure is a lot of this strange writing around. Indeed. So I did see that one of these was lit up, the other one was not. Hey, it's a cute little window where you can see outside of our, or place a little knick-knack. We should try putting something there to see how it looks. Um, I don't think we really have something that would work for this. I don't think that's gonna work. Hmm, I don't think that will fit. So we need something there. Weird, so there might be some further exploration needed before we can figure some things out here. Gotcha, so that's where the, you know, the other areas we can explore will probably come up soon. But this will be a lot of fun exploring, for sure. Um, the one thing I wanna do, like I said, I might go and take on some enemies so that we can get enough confetti to fill up these holes. But I might have enough just for one of them. Let's find out. So let's boost over this way, because there was one waiting for us right over here. And just throw that out. No, that's all I have, darn, okay. I'll go and get some more then. Oh, I think there's another toad actually over here. Okay, let's go ahead and save him, and then I'll go take on that pokey. Uh, hey buddy. <laughs> the word is you've got yourself a pretty sweet boot car. Does it go fast when you press ZR? Never mind. don't even answer or even offer me a ride. I'll just run back to Toad Town, yeesh. Um, okay. Anyways, where did that pokey go? He was right over here, but now he's gone. I would rather not take on the dry bones. The pokies were the easiest enemies. Oh, there we go, there's one. I might just hop out of the car real quick. But why is he running away? I don't know. There we go, or I guess we're facing two of them. Hey, that might be for the better. The more enemies, the more confetti, right? Boom, okay. So this shouldn't be too bad, I hope. Oh, that's a mess. Oh, but there's the uh, water elemental move there. So from what I see, what we're supposed to do is that and this. And there we go, super duper easy. So let's try the shiny iron boots on these guys. Oh, that's doing 29 damage each, plenty. But I guess we'll have the water elemental move for the next set of uh, pokies that'll pop out. There we go. Last wave, here we go. Luckily, Olivia can help us with this. I think we gotta match him up first, though. No, no, we're just gonna go for it. Magic circle on. Oh, you guys are in trouble. So hopefully this takes them all out. I don't know how much damage it'll do. Yeah, I wonder if we're gonna be running into another Velemental soon. Because usually at the beginning of each streamer, we run into one eventually, so what would it be this time? I guess we've already had the Earth Velemental. Maybe the Fire Vel Velemental, that'd be cool. And boom, a thousand extra coins for us. But like I said, what I was looking for here is a bunch of confetti and we got exactly that. So that should be enough, I hope, to fill both holes. Let's find out. So zooming back over this way. And, whoop. One more. And then the one on the other side. But yeah, we did a pretty good job of exploring this area. We couldn't find absolutely everything, but you can't always expect that, right? So I'm glad with the progress we did make. Um, and next episode, we'll be going to the, um, the area over here, the minor area. I don't know why it's called that, but it is. And there we go, there's all of the uh, not bottomless holes in the uh, Scorching Sandpaper Desert. So we're still looking for 29% um, of the blocks hit, all of the collectible treasures, 20% of the toads rescued. We'll get there for sure, it just might take some extra work, but yeah, what an interesting episode. Unfortunately, we lost our good friend bob -omb, but we were able to get ourselves back together and move towards trying to collect the yellow streamer or at least destroy it, <laughs> whatever we need to do. With that being said, we'll continue on that idea in the next episode of Paper Mario, the Origami King. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.